theater had originally been built in 1939. It's a good example of Art Deco architecture. And it had run films from 1939 into the middle 1980s. In the 1980s, the downtown itself had lost a lot of businesses. And then the multiplex was built at the mall. And I think all of those factors led to the theater shutting down. So what resulted was we had an abandoned theater just a block and a half from our center of downtown and right in the middle of the historic district. The marquee was dark, uh, the glass was getting broken in the front doors, trash was piled up against the front doors. Inside, because of uh, leakage in the roof and other problems, uh, it was really bad. It was painted a deep chocolate brown throughout the theater. We had a tree growing up in one of the aisles in the theater and birds flying in and out uh, through the theater. Uh, the theater sitting there, that close to our downtown, became a subject of discussion. A number of people meeting in local coffee shops and the rest and asking what could we possibly do with that eyesore in our downtown. And the idea of operating a performing arts center came out of those discussions. The group created the Carlisle Theater Project and initiated a fundraising campaign with the idea of purchasing of the building, which we were able to do in 1989. The first step that we did was to redo the marquee and get it lit, clean up the front of the building, and we were able to open the theater in 1992 and start to operate it as a performing arts center. series, uh, a very good series called Hollywood on High, and we emphasize those films that you would normally not be able to see at the local uh, multiplex, such as foreign films and independent films. We have live performances, which we present, uh, and we average about 10 to 12 of those a year. In our live performances, we try to meet our mission statement of providing educational and cultural programs for the diversity of communities we serve. So we have everything from country to rock and roll to blues to the big band sound uh, and classical music. The space that is in the second floor of the theater, which we now have leased to Dickinson College, called the Cubiculo. In that area we have a small pocket theater that seats about 190 people, a large conference room, a dance studio and rehearsal hall, and two very professional dressing rooms with some other uh, offices. We have a children's program called On and Off Stage for Kids, or USC, which not only presents programming appropriate for children and family programming, but also tries to present training in the theater for children and also the opportunity for our children to appear on the stage in productions which we present. people do to help the theater continue? Well, the theater is very unique in, in the sense that we do most of our work through volunteers. At the moment, we have one full-time paid employee and five part-time paid employees, such as the projectionist, uh, the janitorial service, uh, our concession stand manager. So obviously, the vast majority of the work of running the Carlisle Theater and the Performing Arts Center is done by volunteers. So one of the things that can be done to help is spend some time volunteering at the theater. Probably the highest amount of coverage of the operating costs of the Performing Arts Center that can come from admission fees is about 48 to 50 percent of those costs. So it's obvious that the continuation of the theater's projects must depend upon other funding and that comes from a number of sources. We do have the occasional capital campaign 
We have a continuing friends program, which are like patrons to the theater, and for uh, varying fees, the minimum being $35 a year, those individuals get early notice of shows that are coming to the theater and will get discounts on uh, their tickets, but the main thing that they do is help support uh, the theater. We also seek sponsorships of our films and our live shows. It is that type of support that makes the theater possible. And without it, uh, we would not have the Carlisle Regional Performing Arts Center operational in our community. One of the things that, that makes it very special and very important is it provides an opportunity for the various parts of our community to get together with a shared common experience. And the opportunity to sit in a live performance uh, with other individuals to feel their reactions, understand your reactions, helps us all to understand that there are the differences between us are perhaps not as great as we thought, and it gives us an opportunity to share a human experience, which is good for all of us. when the president, then president of the board walked forward, stood on the middle of the stage and said to a full audience, this is your Carlisle Theater. And of course it is because it was the result and remains the result of community participation and community.